Hello everyone. In this episode, we have a lot of drama going on, but um, Princess Cora, she is at the Windenburg Country Club with her sister, Princess Anna, and they happen to run into Sir Javin, which is Princess Cora's boyfriend, um, and Sir Javin was with another woman, which is which is Judith Ward, um, and Judith Ward has had a little bit of a makeover, so in this game, she's actually a young adult, um, and she is definitely very scandalous. There's a lot of scandals that go around with her name. Um, but basically with Sir Javin, and as you can see, he's, he's walking away right now, but this is Sir Javin right here, um, and he is, um, he's Princess Cora's boyfriend. They've been sort of betrothed to each other since they were very young, just like, um, Princess Cora's other siblings, but he has just, he's been, like, really in love with her, but Princess Cora hasn't really returned those feelings because she is just, like, more focused on, on being, like, ambitious, or she is ambitious, she's more focused on herself, um, and studying to be, like, really proper and, and to be really intelligent and all this stuff, and she still really likes Prince, um, Sir Javin, but just because she is so ambitious, that's not really what she was focusing on right now. So I think Sir Javin just kind of got tired of waiting. Um, so he was having a thing with Judith Ward. Um, and I will show you Judith. Judith is right here. So um, Princess Anna and Princess Cora went to the country club um, and saw them here. So they have actually, um, Sir Javin and Judith Ward actually have like a really high level romance relationship um so they've clearly been doing their thing for a while um they're actually boyfriend and girlfriend and the paparazzi caught them and everything so the news is everywhere now so princess cora is pretty upset um so she is just going to tell off sir javin because this is ridiculous and this is so embarrassing for her family too so she's going to insult him um, and then she'll probably, like, try to act tough, too, though, because even though, um, she wasn't, like, too into the relationship, like, she wasn't trying to rush it too much, like, she still liked him a lot, she was just trying to, like, take it slow, um, and Sir Javin didn't quite get that, so she's just going to, like, yell at him, um, if, if she will get away from these people. There's a lot of paparazzi here. Like, I am shocked how many people there are. It was actually irritating Princess Cora a lot. But yeah, so she's here with her sister, Princess Anna. So they were here just hanging out. This is the Windenburg Country Club. I don't know if I've showed this to you guys yet. Um, but I got this from the gallery and just added a few more things to it. So it is like a good place for a wedding. Um, but there's just like, there's a place for kids. There's like a gym here. There's like a little um, office space. There's a garden. There's a little game area. So it's kind of got everything. Um, so Princess Cora, is, she needs to go talk to Sir Javin, and I don't know where he went. Where did he go? Um, is he still here? Oh, okay. Let's see. Sir Javin says he's still here. I don't know where he went. Um, let's see. No, he, de he was definitely over here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I, why is there not a sim locator? There has to be a sim locator. Okay, there he is. I found him. Nope. Yep, that's him. Okay. So it looks like he's on his way to talk to Princess Cora right now. Um, so he did see Princess Cora and Princess Anna, so he was kind of like, oh, crap. So he's trying to play it off and play it cool. So him and Judith Ward are, like, standing very far away from each other, and he's kind of like, oh, we weren't here together, even though they clearly were, um, and the paparazzi already caught them and everything. So, we'll see how this goes, um, but Princess Cora is definitely, like, after she yells at him, going to break it off with him, because this is just, like, super embarrassing for her family, um, and it, it's just not, not a good thing, yeah. He's, like, brushing it off, like, oh, no, whatever, we weren't doing that at all. Um, okay, so, Bach, I'm cool adult. I'm just gonna act tough because she's gonna be like, oh, this isn't helping, or, um, what's she gonna say? Oh, yeah, this, like, she's like, this isn't bothering me at all, um, and then she's gonna yell at him. We don't want her to do this too much, though, because it looks like her empathy is going down, so she's pissed. Princess Anna is, like, backing her up, like, yeah, that's my sister, and you don't hurt my sister, and let's see, I think that 
This guy is just watching and he's a vampire, so he's super creepy. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna give the cold shoulder. Um, and then we're going to just ask to be friends because, oh, I mean, I don't even think she'd ask to be friends, but she can't really, like, break up with him. I, I don't know why I'm assuming because, I don't know why. I guess because she's not an adult? Um, but she is breaking up with him. So, in, in here it's asking to be friends, but, okay. Alright, so they are definitely over. So they're over now, and I think Princess Cora is probably going to say something to Judith Ward, too, because, like, this is just so insulting. Because Judith Ward is an actress, um, and she lives, she doesn't even live in, like, the same world as they do, but she definitely, let's see, what should she say? Um, I think she's going to act tough. Be like, you know what, I don't care that you took my man because I'm the princess, so I can get any man that I want. <laughs> I honestly think that Princess Cora is way better than Judith Ward, um, especially since she is just like so classy and so proper, um, and Judith Ward is not. She's super trashy, and she doesn't have a great reputation, um, so Princess Cora, yeah, she's like acting tough. Oh, look at that stare down, though. This is just, she, okay, I think Judith Ward is like, all right, I've had enough of this, bye. Princess Cora is still, like, staying as, as light-hearted as she can, though. She's so sweet. I just don't think her and Sir Javin... I think she can do better than Sir Javin, to be honest. She can do way better than Sir Javin. She could honestly be a queen if she wanted to. Um, we'll just have to find a kingdom for her to rule. Okay, yeah, this conversation... I didn't even do anything. This seems like it's it's not going well at all. It's an offensive conversation, so that's probably why. Alright, I think Princess Cora has had enough of this, so we are going to send them home, um, and then she's definitely got to explain the whole thing to her parents. I think they would be very comforting, though, um, and they obviously know it's not her fault, but I don't think this is going to go over well with Sir Javin's family, um, like and her family. I think they would definitely probably say something to their family, because this is ridiculous. So we are back at the Windenburg Palace, um, and it looks like Sir Derek Windenburg has has come. Um, so this is, if you don't know, if you haven't seen the other episodes, so Princess Anna, um, she's got a few potential lovers, I guess. Um, so Sir um, Derek is one of them, Sir Derek of Windenburg. Um, and he has got this huge crush on Princess Anna, because a bunch of the guys do. Um, and Prince Derek, who is the Prince of Willow Creek, he has also kind of been a suitor for Princess Anna. Um, so she has kind of, like, she had more of a romantic relationship with Sir Derek. Um, oh, sorry, not, I'm sorry, I said Prince De Ed Derek. Prince Edmund, so Prince Edmund of Windenburg. So Sir Derek is the other guy. So she had more of a relationship, a romantic relationship with Sir Derek, but it's kind of, like, disappeared. Um, so, but it looks like he's here to see her, um, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, so Princess Cora, she is kind of, like, telling her mother about what happened. Um, and her mom's kind of pissed and, like, doing research on, like, what the heck do we do? Um, so I think she just sent an email over to her, um, to... Sir Javin's parents to just kind of tell them what happened and then I think she's going to tell the king and just they're going to try to figure it out and um, then recently I think that the king and queen of Willow Creek um just because Princess Anna she's I mean she wants to be like an actress and everything but I think they're kind of thinking that Prince Edmund would be a better fit for Princess Cora than Princess Anna just because Prince Edmund, he is also very, like, ambitious, um, and he's the heir to the throne of Willow Creek. So he's very ambitious, um, and, and that just kind of fits Princess Cora. Um, and, I mean, Princess Anna is also ambitious. She's just, like, not not ambitious in the right way. Like, she wants to be an actress. She wa she loves the spotlight. She loves the paparazzi. She's a little vain. Um, so she is very different from her sister, Princess Cora. Um, why is there water in here? What happened? uncomfortable. Okay, where's the butler? He needs to pick this up. 
Um, but so Princess Anna is going to just hang out with Sir Derek. So, I mean, maybe Prince Edmund isn't a great fit for Princess Anna. And maybe he would be better for Princess Cora. So in that case, um, I'm going to have Princess Anna she'd probably try to... I mean, she's very flirty. Um, so she would for sure... If, if Prince Derek came to see her, especially if she was feeling kind of like down about herself, um, then she would definitely be all for talking to Sir Derek. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we'll... Why don't we invite Prince Edmund over and kind of see if anything is there, um, because I, I think I'll have to see how well they click before we actually see if they'd be a good fit, because they don't really have that much of a relationship right now. Like, right now, he's more of Princess Anna's, like, flirty buddy, I guess. Um, so they, they don't even have that much of a romantic relationship. Um, they're just kind of friends, um, and she likes to flirt with him a lot. So I think Princess Anna, I mean... She'd probably be getting a little jealous, um, especially since Princess Cora is perfect. I mean, parents love her. She's kind of putting these really high, impossible standards for Princess Anna. So I think, I mean, Princess Anna isn't usually a jealous person, but I think at this point she would start to get a little bit jealous. Um, so it looks like Sir Derek is actually leaving. Um, so I don't even think they really flirted that much, just a little bit. Maybe we'll try to get him to stay a little bit. Because I, I don't, I don't know. Princess Anna and Princess Cora are very close. But since Princess Anna is such a jealous type, that might not, I mean, there might be a falling out between the two sisters. So we don't know. So Princess Cora has just invited Prince Edmund to come over. And there he is. That was quick. Oh, no, that's Prince Henry. Okay, so that's not him. Um, that's her brother. So, and then if you haven't seen the previous episodes already, Prince Henry is engaged to marry Princess Alice, which is Prince Edmund's sister, so I know, it's a little confusing. Um, so, but, but that way, Princess Alice would be, I mean, she's going to be the future queen of Windenburg, and then Princess uh, Cora would be the future queen of Willow Creek. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, so it looks like, who is this? Was this Prince Derek? Or Sir Derek? I keep calling him Prince Derek. I don't know why. I keep getting him mixed up with Prince Edmund, which is right here. So Princess Cora is talking to Prince Edmund right now. Honestly, even if she does try to flirt with him a little bit, she definitely wouldn't rush into anything because she's not even one to rush into a relationship in the first place, but also her and Sir Javin, like, just broke up. So we're just seeing if they click, like, if they even become friends at all, um, because, I mean, they're, they really don't have that much of a relationship. They're just kind of acquaintances at this point. She's, she knows he's more of, like, like, he was pursuing Princess Anna. So, I don't know. For, for this whole thing to work, we'll have to see. Um, I, I really want Princess Cora. She'd be a great ruler. Um, so I, I think that we just have to kind of see how this is going to work out first. So, I mean, her and Prince Edmund, they're just talking a little bit, and they seem to be getting along fine. Um, it looks like she did just walk away, though, so I don't know. We'll have to see. So we'll just brighten his day a little bit, um, and then maybe we'll try flirting or something. Um, just to see if there is a little bit of something there. Um, so with Prince Edmund, I mean, he is definitely an ambitious person as well, um, which is why I think that they would be really good together. So we'll see how this flirting thing works, if this is going to be successful in any way. Um, and Princess Anna is right there, but she knows her parents are doing this. She doesn't know how she feels about it yet. Um, she's kind of just like, um, okay, well, oh, okay, well, they do seem to get along really well. Yeah, honestly, they, like, don't even have too much of a friendship, but they are flirting well. Um, it looks like their romantic relationship is going up a lot. This has turned into a suggestive conversation. Um, so they do. They click really well. So I think that's that's for sure a sign um, that we are going in the right direction with them and with this story. I think that Princess Cora is definitely destined to be the future queen of possibly Willow Creek. So I think I'll actually um, stop this episode right here, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's just a little bit more of a twist in the story. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, like and comment any suggestions that you guys have as well. And we will see you guys the next episode.